Hi right, guys, coming to you today, Daily Bread from Orlando Universal Studio. Okay, a uh, little different background today, but serious subject. People uh, are asking, how is it that you speak to God? You know, they want to get in touch with God, but don't know how. Almost like they don't know the phone number. Okay, I believe that God is much smarter than anybody on earth. I'm sure you agree with that. Okay, that means God understands all languages, Russian, Chinese, Japanese, English, Aruba, everything, right? So my point is, if you wanna to speak to God, you have an issue, you need God to be there for you, right? Uh, you know, you just need to speak clearly, okay? You just need to make your intentions known. Talk to God directly. You don't need all of these and thou's and, you know, things that are written in the Bible, Quran, the Torah. You got to, you know, you know, uh, speak in the, just, just proper kind of English or some other kind of uh, language. You don't need to do that. You just need to speak in whatever you however you communicate at home with your friends, with your loved ones. Communicate with God the same way. He's going to understand. He's much smarter than you or me or anybody on earth he'll understand what you're saying just speak straight you know if something you need god i need you here's what my issue is please be there for me okay now granted there's also a way that would be on your normal in my opinion way to speak to god and have him to hear you and possibly grant you blessings all right nothing is guaranteed but for sure if you don't ask you can't get all right uh, if you have an emergency, say something's going on and it's an emergency and I need to get like that hotline to God. I believe you have to prepare yourself first. Okay, what does that mean? That means fasting. This is what I believe. That means fasting, right? You get up in the morning, you, you, you talk to God. You tell him what the issue is, what the problem is, right? You bring it to him. Then you fast and until like six o'clock in the evening okay six o'clock you fast until six every time you're hungry during the day and you want to break your fast you need to again again pray to god and tell him why it is that you're fasting remind not remind him excuse me but say why it is that you're fasting okay this is going to make you focused and concentrate okay and god is going to you know it's, it's going to get through to him, okay? Because you're making a sacrifice in order to, because you have an issue and you need it to go to him. So this is what you need to do. You sacrifice every time you're hungry. I mean, every time, right? Then when six o'clock comes, pray again, say again, what is you're praying for, right? Now, after that, look for the blessing. Usually it's not long after. Look for the blessing, all right? Now, is the other part of that all right the blessing comes god willing your blessing comes god's there for you he does something for you he helps you out in emergency time what do you have to do now your job's not done now you need to tell people what god did for you you need to tell people the story about how you right ask god for help and god was there for you and then when you do that, right, this is going to be pleasurable to God because like for human beings, let's say, for example, I did something for you and you did not, you know, acknowledge that I did something for you. I may or may not help you again when emergency comes up again, but God will. That's why he's better than us. Me, I would say you didn't thank me the last time or you didn't at least acknowledge what I did the last time. I'm not doing anything else. OK, but God's not like that. He wants you to bring people to him by you showing people what he did for you telling people what he did for you you shine like a lighthouse in a storm bringing people to god this is favorable to god this is what you want this is what you want to do all right so he blesses you you need to then tell people about it shout it from the mountaintops put it online wherever you got to put it let people know what god did for you then possibly the next time when you need emergency assistance he's going to be there for you but on your daily issues 
Just talk to God straight. He'll understand. Okay? That's today's daily bread. Oh, I just remembered. I had a story about that. Quick story. Help. Met a guy on the airline. Uh, I think I told this story before. His uh, daughter was in a terrible accident. She was in a coma. He was flying to find out about how she was doing. Right? I met him on the airline. I told him the same thing I just told you. The same as I can. And he did it. A few days later, daughter came out of the coma, miraculously, thank God. And he then turned around and told the story. That's what he needed to do, and that's what I told him, and that's what he did. God bless you, okay? A little hot out here today at Universal Studio. A little sweat dripping off and everything like that. But I wanted to come to you real quick. Somebody needed to hear this today. So I wanted to get it to you right away. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. Okay, hit the notification, hit the like, do it now. Daily Bread, I'm the chef. Have a great day, guys.